Hi, it's Mr. Anderson, and this is Thinking in Causation, Level 3 Causal Relationships. Up to this point, when we've dealt with cause and effect, we've always wanted to, first of all, define the system we're going to investigate, and then we work backwards from identifying the effect and finding out the cause. Um, this video is all about this, which is the causal relationship connecting the cause to the effect. So we're going to spend a lot of time just in the middle. How does no cause or increasing values of cause affect uh, the effect in the system? By the time you end up watching this video, you should be able to understand causal relationships in two magnets interacting or balanced and unbalanced forces. But what we're going to start with are these cubes, these solids, that if you spin, they uh, start to appear different in their shape. So the first thing we should always do is define the system. So in this case, the system is going to be one of these cubes when it's spinning. And so we've learned for a long time that if you spin a cube, you start to get a different solid appearing. Um, and so what I'm going to do is set up a just quick investigation where we look at the effect and the cause. First thing I'm going to do is define the effect and the cause. So what we're going to be studying is the apparent solid that shows up, but what we're going to vary is the axis of spin. So are we spinning it around the center of the axis like we would in this one, or in the middle of one of the sides in this one, or in the corner? We're just going to investigate what happens when you change that axis of spin. And so let me dig into all the different things that we're going to investigate here. So you can see from this matrix that I've set up that we're going to start with no axis of spin. Then we're going to move towards center, middle, and corner axis. And what we're really digging into is we're digging into this relationship. What's this relationship that we see between the causes on the left and the effect on the right? A really important step is to have no axis at all. And so if we start with the first one, with there no axis of rotation or no axis of spin, I would say the apparent solid that we're going to get is a cube. But let me hook these up to a drill <laughs> so we can speed it up. And then let me fill out the rest of this cause and effect. So now what I've shown is all the different possibilities we can get from different axes of spin. You can see that we're getting a bunch of different solids. And so instead of me just saying, if you change the spin, we get different solids, I'm really digging into what is that causal relationship between these. Um, what is that relationship between the axis of spin and the apparent solid? And so what I'm going to do is clean these out of the way and then set up the next one for you to try on your own. Okay, for the second object, we're going to study the following system. You can see the system is going to be these tinker toy tops. And what we're going to study is how does the length of the stem affect the time of spinning? So could you take a second, pause the video, fill out the cause and effect with relationships organizer, and then unpause the video and we'll see how our ideas kind of sync up. So you can see what I have now set up is I've got stem length going from no stem to short to medium and to long stem. I'm then going to investigate what is the relationship between each of these to the time of spinning. And then I'll fill this out. Thank you. 
So you can see based on the data that I've collected, if I were to say what's the relationship between stem length and time of spinning, a stem's important for spinning, uh, but the shorter the stem is, the longer the spin is. And so that would be the relationship between those uh, that cause and the effect. So now that we've learned to do this, there's a Google slide deck below the video. What I'd like you to try to do is go do the same exact thing with magnets A and B, and then try to do the same thing um, with the balanced and unbalanced forces. So like you can learn something by watching me, but the best way to learn is by doing this. And so please try that. That's causal relationships. The best way to see these things is out in the real world. And I hope that was helpful.